Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Against the Public for Thursday, April 25th. I'm Dana Lane. Thanks for joining me. We're the only show to analyze early betting patterns by the public, and we've done that once again with three free Major League Baseball plays for Thursday. After the show, go to PickDogs.com. I'll have my top Major League Baseball plays, my top NBA, my top NHL plays wrapped in a three-pack for just $49.99. And, of course, that comes with our Pick Dogs win guarantee that states you must profit or receive an immediate site credit for the purchase price. In addition, if you want to receive every play that I send out for one low pr price, please become an All Access Pass member, and you can do so for the next 30 days for less than $11 a day, the next 90 days for less than $10 a day, or just let's roll our sleeves up, let's get to work over the next 365 days, and you can do that for $3.56 a day. Get every play that I send out for the next year. That's by far the best offer that I have on the website right now. We smashed our Major League card on Pick Dogs last night. We're going to go back and do that again tonight but first let's get to our free plays for thursday we're going to start things off 12 35 eastern time 901 902 uh, milwaukee brewers against the pittsburgh pirates brewers minus a dollar 19 seven and a half under minus 15 freddie peralta against mitch keller and we know that peralta brings in a 2-0 record into this game he's got a 1.90 era 33 Ks and 23 and two-thirds innings pitched. Milwaukee is 4-0 when Peralta starts, and that makes a lot of sense considering the 27-year-old has yet to have a bad start this season, and the Brewers have put up almost six runs a game for their righty. His opposition, Mitch Keller. Yet to find his groove as the Pirates' number one starter this year after getting that massive contract early in spring. Pirates are 3-2 and two when Keller starts, but just 1-2 and two when he gives up four earned runs or, or more. And the splits on Keller, righties are hitting 275, lefties are hitting 288. That has to be better before I feel more comfortable with my cash behind Keller. So we're going to take Milwaukee minus $1.19. 2.10 Eastern Time, game 9-13, 9-14, Toronto Blue Jays against the Kansas City Royals. Royals minus 14, 8 under minus 15, Jose Barrios against Cole Reagans. It's time time to really to get on this Kansas City Royals train. I, I've, I've waited for it to de derail this whole time, and I thought it was going to last series. Just hasn't. I mean, they've taken two out of three against Baltimore. Uh, they've won 4.76 units for betters this year. They're in the black quite a ways. So it, it's time for me to start believing in Kansas City, which absolutely drives me bonkers if you're a Pirates fan because this team, every five years or so, uh, you, they, they don't rebound as well as the big market teams, but every five years or so, they're doing something right because they are competitive every four to five years, and they stay that way for a couple seasons. So uh, I am ready to jump on board. Toronto's still trying to find their offense, just 3.88 uh, runs per game this year and four in their last two games against Kansas City. I expected Toronto to be a slight favorite in this game with Barrios on fire against uh, this season, but against Reagan's, he, he's had plenty. Reagan's had plenty of rest after getting smacked around by Baltimore in his last start. I'm going to take Kansas City here. My suggestion would be to wait on this because I suspect the number is going to come down a little bit or come in on the Jays, which is going to give us a much better number in this one. But so far, we'll just go with the consensus number. So we'll take Kansas City minus the dollar twenty. Then game number three, two twenty Eastern Time, nine nineteen, nine twenty. Houston Astros against the Chicago Cubs. Justin Verlander against Javier Assad. Houston minus a dollar twenty seven and a half. This is a this is an interesting number here because not very often you're going to get Verlander minus a dollar twenty. He's going to make his second start of the season. He was terrific against the Washington Nationals uh, after a short rehab stint in the minors. And the only reason why this number is is as short as it is is because. Assad has been uh, has allowed less than two earned runs in four starts this year, in all four of his starts. Never has allowed more than two earned runs. He's been terrific, uh, spotting his fastball, mixing his pitches up, uh, really being able to paint the corners, and that is uh, giving him a lot of success early on this season. But the Cubs are just two and two. 
and his starts, uh, they're only given their righty just five runs in those last two, and those two losses of five runs total. So it's either feast or famine when Assad is on the mound so far this year. It's not going to be very many times where I get, I'm going to get Verlander minus a dollar twenty. So I know Houston has not played well this year, but maybe when you infuse a guy, a Hall of Famer like Justin Verlander, into that locker room. Things start to change. The dynamic starts to change. We'll see if that continues uh, tomorrow, but I am going to take Houston minus the dollar twenty. So that does it for your free plays for Friday. Please go to PickDogs.com. Get involved with one of my many packages that I have up there right now. A lot of baseball packages. I have a brand new uh, baseball package I just put up, so please make sure you get involved with that. Or better yet, just get the all-access pass. Get every single one of my plays for one low price. And we're going to roll our sleeves up, and we're going to work hard, and we're going to make sure uh, we do our best to put money in your pocket. So let's do our quick recap for Thursday's games. Milwaukee minus $1.19, Kansas City minus $1.20, and Houston minus $1.20. That does it for tonight's show. I do want to remind you there will be no show uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We'll be back on Monday. A uh, little trip down to Anaheim, see the uh, and cover the Angels and the Twins over the weekend. So excited about that. Might maybe get over to the Kings-Oilers games. We'll, we'll see how that works out. But uh, So no shows this weekend. I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, for Against the Public, I'm Dana Lane. All the best to you and your plays on Friday.